Hey everyone, welcome to the next tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're gonna get started on the HUD. Um, so when we play our game, at the bottom here, I kinda want like a, an image to represent the HUD that's gonna contain our health, uh, our lives, our, uh, our, we'll do like a scoring system or something like that. I don't know if we'll get done in this video, but we'll go ahead and get started on it. So I'm actually gonna make it an object like everything else we've made in our game. Uh, it's gonna be called HUD. And what I've done is, I actually just went into Photoshop and made a real quick shape. It looks like that. So our HUD's just kind of like a square with a, a border around it. Uh, you can make it look however you want. Um, so let's go to HUD, and it's going to be a sprite. So uh, pi, import pi game, import constants as C, because we're going to need to reference like location information on the screen to, to place it, because we're going to want it to be at the bottom of our screen. So class HUD, and it's going to be a sprite. So pygame.sprite.sprite. Uh, sprite. And then, okay, so its image is going to be pygame.image.load, and we're going to load that HUD. I called it HUD underscore BG dot PNG, and convert alpha, because it's it's got rounded corners, so it does have some transparency in uh, the corner pixels. And then self dot rect, rect equals uh, self dot image dot get rect, and its y coordinate will be the bottom of the screen. So we'll do c dot display height, and we'll have to subtract its height so it doesn't it doesn't put it off screen. It'll come up a little bit so we can see it. So minus self dot rect dot height, and what's it? Oh, it's complaining because I didn't run the uh, super function for the sprite object. Go ahead and type that and write its update function. Um, it's not going to move, but it's just a habit I always put on every sprite, a velocity x and a velocity y. Because you could go back at some point in time and make something where, like, if you press the pause menu, all of a sudden the HUD, like, goes to the top of the screen and expands and shows, like, menu options. And then when you leave the menu, it collapses and goes back down. So it could have velocity in the future. Um, we're not going to do that. We might. I don't know. But I always put it there. So self.ret.x plus equals self.velocityx and self.rec.y plus equals self.velocity y. All right. So that's our HUD object. And the way I want this to work, I'm going to make a health bar object. And that's uh, the HUD will have its own health bar object. I'm going to make a score object. And the HUD will also contain that score object. All the stuff that will be in the HUD, the HUD will have all those objects in its own class. And then the player will have a HUD object that in turn contains the health and uh, points and all that. So let's go to our player or our ship class. And from HUD import HUD. And we'll give the player a HUD. So self.HUD equals HUD object. And what I'm going to do is. Um, We'll go ahead and do, we'll add it to a, well, we don't need to add it to a group because it's just one thing. Um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. So we'll do self.hud group equals pygame.sprite.group and self.hud group dot add. We'll make a group. That way we can just run the group's update function and draw functions to draw all of the HUD stuff to the screen. Um, so hud group dot add. Uh, self dot HUD. Okay, so in its update function, after we update the bullets, we'll also do HUD group and update the HUD. And then we'll go to our main file here. And in our main file, right where we draw everything, we're going, it's going to be the last thing we draw because we want it to be at the front of the screen all the time. So we'll do, uh, player dot hud group dot draw to the display and this should work because we're right we don't need to put the update function because it's already being ran by the player's update function so let's see if it works yeah so now we got a, a, a hud at the bottom and i'm going to go ahead and put uh his health bar like somewhere in the, on the left side of the hud so let's do this let's make a i made a health bar image as well it's just this green bar right here uh, again, you can make it whatever you want, but it's just a small green bar. 
So let's go to hud.py and well, actually, sorry, let's make a new file. New file, it's gonna be called health bar. Import, we're gonna make it the same way we did the HUD. So import pi game, import constants as C, and then we'll do class health bar, and it's a sprite. Do all the normal stuff we always do. And we'll uh, import the image, pygame.image.load. Uh, I called it health underscore bar dot png. Uh, this has no alpha, so we'll just do convert. And self.rect equals self.image.get rect. And self.velocity, even though it's not going to move, uh, self.velocity x equals zero and self.velocity y equals zero. Add its update method. Update the x coordinate and update the y coordinate. All right, uh, so our HUD needs to contain one of these. Uh, so we'll go to HUD.py and then do from health bar, import a health bar. And we'll do, uh, we'll make a health bar object that the HUD contains. And how do I want to do this? So let's go ahead and add it to a group. So we got health bar group. We really don't need to do that because it's just one object, but I'm, I like throwing everything in groups. Um, but you could just run the health bars update function. It would work just fine. But again, I, I like throwing every single sprite I have in a group just because Pygame gives us that tool. Um, so we got a health bar group. Oops. Health bar group equals pygame dot sprite dot group and health bar group dot add. We're gonna add the health bar to that group. Alright, so on its on the HUDs update function we need to do self health bar group dot update. And what else we need? Oh we also need to set the uh, for the health bar. Um, let's do it inside the HUD object, but we need to set where its coordinates are going to be. So when we make the health bar object, let's access its rect coordinates. So health bar dot rect dot x, and I'm going to have it be like maybe 10 pixels to the uh, on from the left side of the screen. We can adjust these in a second. Uh, and then health bar dot rec dot y equals. I'm going to start counting from the bottom of the screen. Uh, so from the bottom of the screen, and we'll go ahead and subtract self.healthbar.rect.height. So now, just from typing this code right here, the health bar is at the very bottom of the screen. So we need to raise it up. Uh, we just need to start subtracting some numbers to raise it up a little bit. So let's just try 80. We'll subtract 80. Let's see where this puts it. Um, we actually need to draw the health bar, though. So we do need to go to our main file to get it to draw to the screen. And it's going to be on top of the HUD. So player.hud, uh, it's going to be the HUD object, dot health bar group, dot draw to the display. So we're accessing the player. We're accessing the player's HUD object. That HUD object has its own health bar group, and we're drawing it to the screen. And couldn't open health bar, so. Oh, I didn't put an underscore in the file name. Um, so healthbar.py, there's no underscore in the file name. I actually want an underscore in the file name, so I'm going to rename it. Uh, ref if you ever want to rename something, it's actually, actually if you right-click it, it's under the refactor um, uh, item. So rename healthbar.png. All right, so that's... That's definitely too high. Uh, so let's start tweaking some stuff. It's rect looked fine, um, but we put it uh, at the display height, which puts it right below the screen. We're subtracting the health bar's height, which is going to put it at right at the bottom of the screen where you can see it. And then let's put it at like, 
I don't know. I'm gonna try 10 real quick. See what that does. So that's cool. I actually want it raised up a little bit more. So I'm gonna put like 23, 25, and you just tweak this number until you get it where you want it. And I want to make it 28. There we go. I like that. Cause I'm gonna put some other. St I got some cool ideas uh, that I want to add later on in this tutorial. So I'm gonna put some more stuff down here at the bottom. Uh, so that's it in this video. We got the HUD on the screen with the health bar. Uh, the next video we're actually gonna get the health bar to work, and we're gonna get collision detection to work on the player. So when we collide with the enemy, uh, it'll actually make this health bar go down. And eventually later on, we'll get it where if it hits zero, there's an actual game over screen and you can reset the game and play the game. And then we'll also have a scoring system here where it'll have like points on the right. And just to let you know, another thing I want to do, I actually at the bottom right here, I want some type of a, uh, I got an idea for like a stamina meter and I want it to be where if you're using a controller, you can like press R1 and L1 and dash real quickly to the right and left. So if you're shooting a guy, if you're shooting a guy on the left and a guy pops up on the right and you want to get over there real quick, you can press R1 and you have like the stamina meter where you can like dash really quickly over there. Um, and I got some cool ideas for enemy AI. Like if these guys get to the bottom of the screen, they're gonna, they'll sit there for a minute and like, and shoot to the left and right, like to mess you up because you didn't kill them. Like you didn't, because you didn't kill them as they were coming down, you get punished for it. So they'll actually stay here at the bottom and kind of right before they leave the screen, they'll shoot a bullet to the right. And I want to give your character some type of uh, like you'll hold down one of the trigger buttons or something and a shield will go around you and it'll help absorb the attack or, i don't know i got a lot of cool ideas and they won't be hard to implement it's just a lot of tedious work so look forward to that in the next couple videos have a good one